Good morning, everyone. This is Brother Brandon coming to you live from Fayetteville, Arkansas, with another live Bible reading. And if you have your Bibles, turn with me to Psalm 119, and we will pick up from where we left off. <clears throat> Psalm 119. Blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they that keep his testimonies and that seek him with the whole heart. They also do no iniquity. They walk in his ways. Thou hast commanded us to keep thy precepts diligently. O oh, that my ways were directed to keep thy statutes. Then shall I not be ashamed when I have respect unto all thy commandments. I will praise thee with a brightness of heart when I shall have learned thy righteous judgments. I will keep thy statutes. O oh, oh, forsake me not utterly. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word. With my whole heart have I sought thee. O oh, let me not wander from thy commandments. Thy word have I hid in mine heart, that I might not sin against thee. <coughs> Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. With my lips have I declared all the judgments of thy mouth. I have rejoiced in the way of thy testimonies as much as in all riches. I will meditate in thy precepts. And have respect unto thy ways. I will delight myself in thy statutes. I will not forget thy word. Deal bountifully with thy servant, that I may live, and keep thy word. Open thou mine eyes, that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law. I am a stranger in the earth. Hide not thy commandments from me. My soul breaketh for the longing that it hath unto thy judgments at all times. Thou hast rebuked the proud that are cursed, which do err from thy commandments. Remove me, remove from me reproach and contempt, for I have kept thy testimonies. Princes also did sit and speak against me. But thy servant did meditate in thy statutes. Thy testimonies also are my delight and my counselors. My soul cleaveth unto the dust. Quicken thou me according to thy word. I have declared my ways, and thou heardest me. Teach me thy statutes. Make me to understand the way of thy precepts. So shall I talk of thy wondrous works. My soul melteth for heaviness. Strengthen thou me according unto thy word. Remove from me the way of lying, and grant me the law graciously. <clears throat> I have chosen the way of truth. The judgments have I laid before me. I have stuck unto thy testimonies, O Lord. Put me not to shame. I will run the way of thy commandments, when thou shalt enlarge my heart. Teach me, O Lord, the way of thy statutes, and I shall keep it unto the end. Give me understanding, and I shall keep the law, yea, I shall observe it with, observe it with my whole heart. Make me to go in the path of thy commandments, for therein do I delight. Incline my heart unto thy testimonies, and not to covetousness. Turn away mine eyes from beholding vanity, and quicken thou me in thy way. Establish thy word unto thy servant, who is devoted to thy fear. Turn away my reproach, which I fear, for thy judgments are good. Behold, I have longed after thy precepts. Quicken me in thy righteousness. Let thy mercies come also unto me, O Lord, even thy salvation according to thy word. So shall I have wherewith to answer him that reproacheth me, for I trust in thy word. 
And take not the word of truth utterly out of my mouth, for I have hoped in thy judgments. So shall I keep the law continually for ever and ever, and I will walk at liberty, for I seek thy precepts. I will speak of thy testimonies also before kings, and will not be ashamed. And I will delight myself in thy commandments, which I have loved. My hands also will I lift up unto thy commandments, which I have loved. And I will meditate in thy statutes. Remember the word unto thy servant, upon which thou hast caused me to hope. <clears throat> this is my comfort and my affliction. For thy word hath quickened me. The proud have had me greatly in derision. Yet have I not declined from, the, from thy law. I remembered thy judgments of old, O Lord, and have com comforted myself. Whore hath taken hold upon me because of the wicked that forsake thy, forsake thy law. Thy statues have been my songs in the house of my pro pilgrimage. I have remembered thy name, O Lord, in the night, and have kept thy law. This I had, because I kept thy precepts. Thou art my portion, O Lord. I have said that I would keep thy words. I entreated thy favor with my whole heart. Be merciful unto me according to thy word. I thought on my ways, and turned my feet unto thy testimonies. I made haste, and delayed not to keep thy commandments. The bands of the wicked have robbed me, but I have not forgotten thy law. At midnight I will rise to give thanks unto thee because of thy righteous judgments. I am a companion of all them that fear thee, and of them that keep thy precepts. The earth, O Lord, is full of thy mercy. <clears throat> Teach me thy statutes. Thou hast dealt well with thy servant, O Lord, according unto thy word. Teach me good judgment and knowledge, for I have, I have believed thy commandments. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now... Have I kept thy word? Thou art good, and doest good, good. Teach me thy statutes. The proud have forged a lie against me, but I will keep thy precepts with my whole heart. Their heart is as fat as grease, but I delight in the law, in thy law. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I might learn thy statutes. <coughs> The law of thy mouth is better unto me than thousands of gold and silver. Thy hands have made me and fashioned me. Give me understanding that I may learn thy commandments. They that fear thee will be glad when they see me, because I have hoped in thy word. I know, O Lord, that thy judgments are right, and that thou in faithfulness hast afflicted me. Let I pray thee, thy merciful kindness be for my comfort according to thy word and unto thy servant. Let thy tender mercies come unto me, that I may live, for, the, for thy law is my delight. Let the proud be ashamed, for they dealt perversely with me without a cause, but I will meditate in thy precepts. Let those that fear thee turn unto me, and those that have known thy testimonies. Let my heart be sound in thy statutes, that I be not ashamed. My soul fainteth for thy salvation, but I hope in thy word. Mine eyes fail for thy, fail for thy word, saying, What wilt thou comfort me? For I am become like a bottle in the smoke, yet do I not forget thy statutes. How many are the days of thy servant? When wilt thou execute judgments on them that persecute me? The proud have digged pits for me, which are not after thy law. All thy commandments are faithful. They persecute me wrongfully. Help thou me.
They had almost consumed me upon earth, but I forsook not thy precepts. Quicken me after thy loving kindness, so shall I keep the, the testimonies of thy mouth. For Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. Thy faithfulness is unto all generations. Thou hast established the earth, and it abideth. They continue this day according to thine ordinances, for all are thy servants. Unless thy law had been my delights, I should then have perished in mine affliction. I will never forget thy precepts, for with them thou hast quickened me. I am thine, save me, for I have sought thy precepts. The wicked have waited for me to destroy me, but I will consider thy testimonies. I have seen an end of all perfection, but thy commandment is exceeding broad. Oh, how I love thy law! It is my meditation all the day. Thou through thy commandments hast made me wiser than mine enemies, for they are ever with for they are ever with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for thy testimonies are my meditation. I understand more than the ancients because I keep thy precepts. I have refrain, refrained my feet from every evil way that I might keep thy word. I have not departed from thy judgments, for thou hast taught me. How sweet are thy words unto, unto my taste, yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through thy precepts I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my path. I have sworn and I will perform it, that I will keep thy righteous judgments. I am afflicted very much. Quicken me, O Lord, according unto thy word. Except I beseech thee the freewill offerings of my mouth, O Lord, and teach me thy judgments. My soul is continually in my hand, yet do I not forget thy law. The wicked have laid a snare for me, yet I err not from thy precepts. Thy testimonies have I taken as an heritage forever, for they are the rejoicing of my heart. I have inclined mine heart to perform thy statutes alway, even unto the end. I hate vain thoughts, but thy law do I love. Thou art my hiding place and my shield. I hope in thy word. <clears throat> Depart from me, ye evildoers, for I will keep the commandments of my God. Uphold me according unto thy word, that I may live, and let me not be ashamed of my hope. Hold thou me up, and I shall be safe, and I will have respect unto thy statutes continually. Thou hast trodden down all them that err from thy statutes, for their deceit is falsehood. Thou puttest away all the wicked of the earth like dross, therefore I love thy testimonies. My flesh trembleth for fear of thee, and I am afraid of thy judgments. I have done judgment and justice. Leave me not to mine oppressors. <clears throat> Be surety for thy servant for good. Let not the proud oppress me. Mine eyes fail for, for thy salvation and for the word of thy righteousness. Deal with thy servant according unto thy mercy, and teach me thy statutes. I am thy servant. Give me understanding that I may know thy testimonies. It is time for thee, Lord, to work, for they have made void thy law. Therefore I love thy commandments <coughs> above gold, yea, above fine gold. Therefore I esteem all thy precepts concerning all things to be right, and I hate every false way. <clears throat> thy testimonies are wonderful, therefore doth my soul keep them. The entrance of thy words giveth light, it giveth understanding unto the simple. I opened my mouth and panted, 
for I long for thy commandments. Look thou upon me, and be merciful unto me, as thou usest to do unto those that love thy name. Order my steps in thy word, and let not any iniquity have dominion over me. <clears throat> Deliver me from the, from the oppression of man, so will I keep thy precepts. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant, and teach me thy statutes. Rivers of waters run down mine eyes, because they keep not thy law. Righteous art thou, O Lord, and upright are thy judgments. Thy testimonies that thou hast commanded are righteous and very faithful. My zeal hath consumed me, because mine enemies have forgotten thy words. Thy word is very pure, therefore thy servant loveth it. I am small and despised, yet do not I forget thy precepts. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. Trouble and anguish have taken hold on me, yet thy commandments are my delights. The righteousness of thy testimonies is everlasting. Give me understanding, and I shall live. I cried with my whole heart, Hear me, O Lord, I will keep thy statutes. I cried unto thee, Save me, <clears throat> and I shall keep thy testimonies. I prevented the, prevented the dawning of the morning, and cried. I hoped in thy word. Mine eyes prevent the night watches, that I might meditate in thy word. Hear my voice according unto thy loving kindness. O Lord, quicken me according to thy judgment. <coughs> they draw nigh that follow after mischief. They are far from thy law. Thou art near, O Lord, and all thy commandments are truth. <clears throat> Concerning thy testimonies, I have known of old that thou hast founded them forever. Consider mine affliction, and deliver me, for I do not forget thy law. Plead my cause, and deliver me. Quicken me according to thy word. Salvation is far from the wicked, for they for they seek not thy statutes. Great are thy tender mercies, O Lord. Quicken me according to thy judgments. Many are my persecutors and mine enemies, yet do I not decline from thy testimonies. I beheld the transgressors and was grieved because they kept not thy word. Consider how I love thy precepts. Quicken me, O Lord, according to thy loving kindness. Thy word is true from the beginning, and every one of thy righteous judgments endureth forever. <clears throat> Princes have persecuted me without a cause, but my heart standeth in awe of thy word. I rejoice at thy word as one that findeth great spoil. I hate and abhor lying, but thy law do I love. Seven times a day do I praise thee because of thy righteous judgments. Great peace have they which love thy law, and nothing shall offend them. Lord, I have hoped for the sal thy salvation and done thy commandments. My soul hath kept thy testimonies, and I love them exceedingly. I have kept thy precepts and thy testimonies, for all my ways are before thee. Let my cry come near before thee, O Lord. Give me understanding according to thy word. Let not my supplication come before thee. Deliver me according to thy word. My lips shall utter praise when thou hast taught me thy statutes. My tongue shall speak of thy word, for all thy commandments are righteousness. Let thine hand help me, for I have chosen thy precepts. I have longed for thy salvation, O Lord. And the law is my delight. Let my soul live, and it shall praise thee, and let thy judgments help me. I have gone astray like a lost sheep. Seek thy servant, for I do not forget thy commandments. Psalm 120 
In my distress I cried unto the Lord, and he heard me. Deliver my soul, O Lord, from lying lips and from a deceitful tongue. What shall be given unto thee, or what shall be done unto thee, thou false tongue? Sharp arrows are the mighty with coals of juniper. Woe is me that I sojourn in Mesech, that I dwell in the tents of Kedar. My soul hath long dwelt with him that hateth peace. I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war. Psalm 121 I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. <coughs> Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day nor the moon by night. <coughs> The Lord shall preserve thee from, from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forever, forevermore. Psalm 122 I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city that is compact together. Whether the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, unto the testimonies of Israel to give thanks unto the name of the Lord. For there are set thrones of judgment, the thrones of the house of David. <clears throat> Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee. Peace be within thy walls and prosperity within thy palaces for my brethren and companions sakes I will now say peace be with within thee because of the house of the Lord our God I will seek thy good Psalm 123 unto thee lift I up mine eyes O thou that dwellest in the heavens <clears throat> Behold, as the eyes of servants look unto the hand of their masters, and as the eyes of maiden unto the hand of her mistress, so our eyes wait upon the Lord our God, until that he have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, O Lord, have mercy upon us, for we are exceedingly filled with contempt. Our soul is exceedingly filled with the scorning of those that are at ease and with the contempt of the proud. Psalm 124 <clears throat> If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, now may Israel say, if it, had, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they had swallowed us up quick when their wrath was kindled against us. Then the waters had overwhelmed us, the stream had gone over our soul. Then the proud waters had gone over our soul. Blessed be the Lord who hath not given us as a prey to their teeth. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we are escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Psalm 125 They that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be removed, but abideth forever. As the mountains are round about Jerusalem, so the Lord is round about his people from henceforth even forever. For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous lest the righteous put forth their hands unto iniquity. Do good, O Lord, unto those that be good, and to them that are upright in their hearts. 
As for such as turn aside unto their crooked ways, the Lord shall lead them forth with the workers of iniquity, but peace shall be upon Israel. Psalm 126 When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like that like them that dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the heathen, The Lord hath done great things for them. The Lord hath done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. <clears throat> they that sow in tears shall reap in joy. He that goeth forth and weepeth Bearing precious seed shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. Psalm 127 Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman waketh but in vain. It is vain for you to rise up early, to sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrows. For so he giveth his beloved sleep. Lo, children are an heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. As arrows are in the head of a mighty man, or as arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are the children of the youth. Happy is the man that hath his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, and they shall speak with the enemies in the gate. Psalm. 128 Blessed is everyone that feareth the Lord, that walketh in his ways. For thou shalt eat the labor of thine hands. Happy shall thou be, and it shall be well with thee. Thy wife shall be as a fruitful vine by the sides of thine house. Thy children like olive plants round about thy table. Behold, that thus shall the man be Blessed that feareth the Lord. The Lord sh shall bless thee out of Zion. <coughs> and thou shalt see the good of Jerusalem all the days of thy life. Yea, thou shalt see thy children's children and peace upon Israel. Psalm 129 Many a time have they afflicted me from my youth. May Israel now say, Many a time <clears throat> have they afflicted me from my youth, yet they have not prevailed against me. The plowers plowed upon my back. They made long their furrows. The Lord is righteous. He hath cut asunder the cords of the wicked. Let them all be confounded and turned back that hate Zion. Let them be as the grass upon the house tops which with worth afore it groweth up wherewith the more f uh, the more filleth not his hand nor he that bindeth sheaves his bosom neither do they which go by say the blessing of the lord be upon you we bless you in the name of the lord Psalm 130 Out of the depths have I cried unto thee, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If thou, Lord, should, shouldest mark iniquities, O Lord, who shall stand? But there is forgiveness with thee, that thou mayest be feared. I wait for the Lord, my soul doth wait, and in his word do I hope. My soul waiteth for the Lord more than they that watch for the morning. I say more than they that watch for the morning. Let Israel hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption. And he shall redeem Israel from all his iniquities. Psalm 131 Lord, my heart is not haughty, nor mine eyes lofty, neither do I exercise myself in great matters or in 
things too high for me. Surely I have behaved and quieted myself as a child that is weaned of his mother. My soul is even as a weaned child. Let Israel hope in the Lord from henceforth and forever. Psalm 132 Lord, remember David in all his afflictions, how he swore unto the Lord and vowed unto the mighty God of Jacob, Surely I will not come into the tabernacle of my house, nor go up into my bed. I will not give sleep to mine eyes, or slumber to mine eyelids, until I find out a place for the Lord in habitation, <clears throat> for the mighty God of Jacob. <coughs> Lo, we have heard of it at Ephratah. We have found it in the fields of the wood. We will go into his tabernacles. We will worship at his foot, footstool. <coughs> Arise, O Lord, into thy rest. Thou and the ark of thy strength. Let thy priest be clothed with righteousness. And let thy saints shout for joy. <clears throat> For thy servant David's sake, turn not away the face of thine anointed. The Lord has sworn in truth unto David, he will not turn from it. Of the fruit of thy body will I set upon thy throne. If thy children will keep my covenant and my testimony, I shall teach them. Their children shall also sit upon thy throne forevermore. For the Lord hath chosen Zion, he hath desired it for his habitation. This is my rest forever. Here will I dwell, for I have desired it. I will abundantly, abundantly bless her provision. I will satisfy her poor with bread. I will also clothe her priests with salvation. And her saints shall shout aloud for joy. There will I make the horn of David to bud. I have ordained a lamp for mine anointed. His enemies will I clothe with shame, but upon himself shall his crown flourish. Psalm 133 <clears throat> Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard, that went down to the skirts of his garments. As the dew of Hermon, and as the dew that descended upon the mountains of Zion, for there the Lord commanded the blessing, even life forevermore. Psalm 134 Behold, bless ye the Lord, all ye servants of the Lord, which by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary, and bless the Lord. The Lord that made heaven and earth, bless thee out of Zion. Psalm 135 Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the name of the Lord. Praise him, O ye servants of the Lord. Ye that stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God, praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing praises unto his name, for it is pleasant. For the Lord hath chosen Jacob unto himself, and Israel for his peculiar treasure. For I know that the Lord is great, and that our Lord is above all gods. Whatsoever the Lord pleased, that did he in heaven, and in earth, and in the seas, in all deep places, he causeth the vapors to ascend from ends of the earth. <clears throat> he maketh lightnings for the rain. He bringeth the wind out of his out of his treasuries, who smote the firstborn of Egypt, both of man and beast, who sent tokens and wonders. <clears throat> Into the midst of thee, O Egypt, upon Pharaoh and upon all his servants, who smote great nations and slew mighty kings, 
Sihon, king of the Amorites, and Og, king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan, and gave their land for an heritage, and heritage unto Israel his people. Thy name, O Lord, endureth forever, and thy memorial, O Lord, throughout all generations. For the Lord will judge his people, and he will repent of himself concerning his servants. <clears throat> The idols of the heathen are silver and gold, the work of men's hands. They have mouths, but they speak not. Eyes have they, but they see not. They have ears, but they hear not. Neither is there any breath in their mouths. They that make them are like unto them. So is everyone that trusteth in them. Bless the Lord, O house of Israel. Bless the Lord, O house of Aaron. Bless the Lord, O house of Levi. Ye that fear the Lord, bless the Lord. Blessed be the Lord out of Zion, which dwelleth at Jerusalem. Praise ye the Lord. <clears throat> Psalm 136 O give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. O give thanks unto the God of gods, for his mercy endureth forever. O oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his mercy endureth forever. To him who alone doeth great wonders, for his mercy endureth forever. To him that by wisdom made the heavens, for his mercy endureth forever. To him that stretched out <clears throat> the earth above the waters, for his mercy endureth forever. To him that made great lights, for his mercy endureth forever. The sun to rule by day, for his mercy endureth forever. The moon and stars to rule by night, for his mercy endureth forever. To him that smote Egypt in their firstborn, for his mercy endureth forever. And brought out Israel from among them, for his mercy endureth forever. With a strong hand, and with a stretched out arm, for his mercy endureth forever. To him which divided the Red Sea into parts, for his mercy endureth forever. And made Israel to pass through the midst of it, for his mercy endureth forever. But overthrew Pharaoh and his host in the Red Sea, for his mercy endureth forever. To him which led his people through the wilderness, for his mercy endureth forever. To him <clears throat> which smote great kings, for his mercy endureth forever. And slew famous kings, for his mercy endureth forever. Sihon, king of the Amorites, for his mercy endureth forever. And Og, the king of Bashan, for his mercy endureth forever. And gave their land for inheritance, for his mercy endureth forever. Even an heritage unto Israel his servant, for his mercy endureth forever. Who remembered us in our low estate, for his mercy endureth forever. And hath redeemed us from our enemies, for his mercy endureth forever. Who giveth food to all flesh, for his mercy endureth forever. O give thanks unto the God of heaven, for his mercy endureth forever. Psalm 137 by the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down, yea, we wept, when we remembered Zion. We hanged our harps upon the willows in the midst thereof. For there they that carried us away captive required of us a song, and they that wasted us required of us mirth, saying, Sing us one of the Lord's Sing us one of the songs of Zion. How shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? If I forget thee, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget her cunning. Forget her cunning. If I do not remember thee, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. If I prefer not Jerusalem above my chief joy, Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, 
raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. Psalm 138 I will praise thee with my whole heart. Before the gods will I sing praise unto thee. I will worship toward thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness, for thy truth, for thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. In the day when I cried, thou answerest me and strengthenest me with strength in my soul. All the kings of the earth shall praise thee, O Lord, when they hear the words of thy mouth. Yea, they, they shall sing in the ways of the Lord, for great is the glory of the Lord. Though the Lord be high, yet hath he respect unto the lowly, but the proud he knoweth afar off. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou wilt receive me. Thou shalt stretch forth thine hand against the wrath of my enemies, and thy right hand shall save me. The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. Forsake not the works of thine own hands. All right, you guys, that's going to be it for, ten for this morning. <clears throat> um, next time we will pick up off of Psalm 139 and we will actually finish the book of Psalms and uh, <clears throat> so please do pray for me as I continue reading the word of God pray that, that it would be a blessing to those who will hear it and pray that it will uh, not just be a blessing to those who hear it but also pray that people would get saved as, as a result of this and that people would come back to know the Lord also. And, and so just pray that God will do a mighty work with this. You know, pray that God will be glorified. Pray that, um, you know, pray that, uh, you know, that God's will will be done. Amen. So with that said, um, this is Brother Brandon. I'm signing off for this morning. I love you guys. God bless you. And we'll see you on the next one. God bless you guys. See ya. Bye.